This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Puzzle 4, Adding Items to an Array. In our last exercise, we created our array and initialized it with some values. That means created like equals something, that's initializing it. Another way to do this is to add items to your array on separate lines. The simplest way to do this is to add a new item to the end of your array using a pinned item using a pinned item command. To append means to add or to join. When you append an item to your an, an array, when you append an item to an array, you actually add a new location to the end of the array that contains the new value. So that the total size of the array grows by one. Right, yeah, you're just pushing it on to the end of your list of your array. Since you can always add items to an array after creating it, it is very common to create an empty array and then add values in subs subsequent portions of your program. Yes, it is. Do this. Read the documentation for a pinned item. Create an empty array called odd numbers. Use a pinned item to add odd numbers 1 to 11 to your array. Ooh, and they're demoing it here. Oh, they're gonna, they want us to do it one at a time. They're going to show us how to do that faster shortly, but okay. Um, variable odd num ooh, do, 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 numbers. And remember, we need to tell the computer it's an array, so we're going to use the square brackets. It's up near the P key for me. I don't have to hit shift. And then append item just like this. Odd numbers. I'm going to steal their idea. One. Okay. And then I'm going to highlight this whole thing and then right click, copy, and paste. If we're doing this one at a time, paste, paste, and paste. One, three, five, seven, nine. Oh, to 11? Okay. And 11. Let's, uh, oop, now I need a council log. And if we did this right, it will work just like the, the last one did. Except it's going to be odd numbers. When this is most useful is looping through. We can loop through and add stuff. Ta-da! Perfect, just like theirs. Cool. And each one of these adds one item to the array. So notice the order. This one's going to be first, 11's last. It was the last thing we added because code runs in order. Awesome. Let's keep going.